Okay, the fourth shape of today's activity is a kite. Go fly a kite. No, 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 not really. I need you to work. I need you to work with me here. Don't go fly a kite yet. So this one, notice we don't start off saying it's a parallelogram or anything like that. We're finally getting to a different shape. Praise the Lord. So if you were to measure this kite, you would find something that may be interesting. A particular note, you would find that Ki, Ke are the same. It and Et are the same. That's because that's the definition of a kite. A kite has two sets of consecutive sides. Remember, consecutive means side by side or one after the other. Two sets of consecutive sides congruent. It's also got some other properties. I mean, if we were to measure the angles here, are there any two angles that look like they could be the same? Yeah, IE, IE, if I measure that, I would get 118 degrees so for I and E. And that will always be the well, it won't always be the case that you get 118. And it'll always be the case that these two angles that join the non-congruent consecutive sides here, those two angles will be congruent. So it also has one set of opposite angles. Congruent. Okay, now it's telling me that I need to draw in some diagonals. So let's do that. We need to go from I to E. And then again from K to T. There we go. Okay, there's our diagonals drawn in. So how does it look like these intersect right here? Here in the middle. Yeah, they make a perfect 90 degree angle here. 90 degrees. That's actually one of the properties. The diagonals, just like we had on the rhombus, the diagonals are perpendicular. And then let's say I were to go around and measure the angles around K and the angles around T. Let's say I go up here. If I did, I'd get 20 here for each of these and 42 here for each of these. So that means that our long diagonal, 
bisects one set of opposite angles. It doesn't do it to both sets. It only does one set. So a diagonal bisects one set of opposite angles. Okay, so those are the four properties that a kite has. Now, if I were to go and fold this kite, can, is there any way I could fold it perfectly in half? Yeah, we can fold along the line, the diagonal from K to T. KT gets the work done, gets the job done. So that means this has two, sorry, not two, one line of symmetry. Okay, so let's see how much we can conquer on this one. Doesn't look like we have as much to find. It's a good thing. Keeps it easy for us. Okay, so let's see. If I label the side lengths that I know. I know this is six centimeters right there. I know this is going to be two centimeters right here because remember diagonals. The same here. Oh, I actually take that back. We didn't learn that property, so yeah, get rid of that. I don't know that. But what I do know is that they intersect here at a right angle. All these are right angles. This one I do know is split in half, so this one can I can say is 20 degrees. And now I'm kind of stuck. Didn't really find much. I mean, yeah, I know five is 90 degrees. Oh, I can find two. Let's do that. Let's find two right quick. So two angle two right here. I have a 90 and a 20. 90 plus 20. It's me 110. 180 minus 110, 70 degrees. Ha! Angle two right here is 70 degrees, which means angle three has to be 70 degrees. Now, I notice a 90 and a 45. Did we learn a triangle that does 90s and 45s? Yeah, 45, 45, 90. 45. I mean, this one has to be 45. And that one's got to be 45. Okay. Now, what I want us to do is let's focus on this triangle right here. I said we were mostly done with triangles, but we still need to use them. What kind of triangle, if I blow it up down here and take out all the distractions, I know this is two centimeters. That's 90. That's 45. I've got me a special right triangle, a 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. So, if 
we think of our template, this is x, this is x, this is x square roots of 2. Yeah. So x is 2. That means this side is going to be 2. This side is going to be 2 square roots of 2. So if I come back up here, I can label that in my picture. This side is 2 centimeters. This side is 2 square roots of 2 centimeters. These are both 45, 45, 90 triangles on top. So this bottom has to also be 2 centimeters. And this has to be 2 square roots of 2 centimeters. OK. Let's see if we found everything by filling our blanks in. Because I knew they were going to ask me about those sides, the outside side. So we, we had to get those. There was no getting around that. They were going to ask. So let's see, AE. Oh, they ask about AE, and we found it. It's two centimeters. EC, yeah, about that. We haven't found that one. So let's skip it for now. BD, well, if I go all the way from B to D, I have two plus two, which is four centimeters. AB, I found that to be two square roots of two centimeters. AD, well, that's also two square roots of two centimeters. Uh, measure of angle one, we said it was 20 degrees. Measure of angle two, we said it was 70 degrees. Angle three was also 70. Angle four was 45. And angle five was 90. So it looks like the only thing we haven't done yet is find EC. So now to do that, let's focus on this triangle right here. I know the short side is two centimeters. The hypotenuse is six centimeters. What can I do to find EC? Well, if I call this X, I can set up the Pythagorean theorem. So two squared plus X squared equals six squared. Two squared is four plus x squared equals six squared is 36. Subtract the four and get x squared equals 32. Now, if I take the square root of this, I'm gonna get some ugly, nasty, no good decimal. Notice that since I simplified the radical on AB and AD, I want to do the same thing here. So let's see if I can figure out why there are two things that multiply to give me 32. Well, I'm going to have 2 and 16. And from 16, I'm going to have 4 and 4. Hey, there's a couple. So x is 4, and I'm left with the square root of 2 being my only single. So that means this x right here is 4 square roots of 2. We found EC, 4 square roots of 2 centimeters. OK, so that, that's it for the kite. We had to do a little bit of math here, put our thinking caps on a little bit, but we managed to figure this one out. 
So you're almost done with the activity. We've got one more shape to talk about, but for now, that's it for kites.